Leslie Earhart, a public information officer for the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. Thank you for being here. This case has been difficult from the beginning. Not only did it capture the attention of residents here in Sullivan County, but all across the country. Simply put, Evelyn stole our hearts. So we do appreciate you being here today and continuing to follow this case as it develops. In just a moment, you'll be hearing from three speakers, District Attorney General Barry Stavis, Sullivan County Sheriff Jeff Cassidy, and TBI Director David Roush. We also want to thank Special Agent in Charge Joseph Carrico with the FBI for being here today and for the FBI's assistance during the search for Evelyn as well as their support throughout the investigation. Please understand that the information you are about to hear is the extent of what we can provide at this time in order to preserve the integrity of the case. For that reason, we will not be opening the floor to questions once the speakers are finished. General Stavis. Thank you. Good afternoon. This afternoon, the grand jury of Sullivan County returned a true bill a presentment charging Megan Boswell with a total of 19 counts. There were two counts of felony murder, one in perpetration of aggravated child abuse and one in perpetration of aggravated child neglect. One count of aggravated child abuse, one count of aggravated child neglect, one count of tampering with evidence, one count of false report, 12 counts of false report one count of abuse of corpse, one count of failure to report a death under suspicious or unusual or unnatural circumstances. The next hearing date is August the 28th in criminal court for Sullivan County, and the bond on this case currently is $1 million. Thank you, General Stavis. Um, Baby Evelyn's body was found on March 6th. Since that, my, since that time, my detectives, TBI agents, and the DA's office have worked tirelessly conducting interviews, combing through evidence, and establishing a timeline in order to determine the circumstances leading to Baby Evelyn's death. As a result of false information given by the defendant, along with misinformation circulated in the community, there has been a lot of confusion in the case. I want to be clear when I say that after an extensive and thorough investigation, other individuals were eliminated as suspects and Megan ba Boswell became the sole suspect in this case. My office has received dozens of calls and messages over the last several months from concerned residents uh, wanting to make sure that we had not forgotten about baby Evelyn. I assure you we haven't and we won't. I want to express my sincere appreciation to those residents who have shown their support throughout this process. We've received foods, cards, prayers, many encouragement, and we appreciate that more than you know. I know many of you still have a lot of questions in this case. Please know that we can't speak to the evidence gathered during this investigation because this case now has to be prosecuted. We are determined to make sure that justice is served for baby Evelyn. Thank you. I'll now turn it over to Tennessee Bureau Investigation Director David Roush. <clears throat> thank you, Sheriff. I appreciate it. I'd like to thank the Sullivan County Sheriff's Office, the District Attorney's Office, and the FBI for their partnership in this case. This case is yet another example of the ex excellent collaborative efforts of law enforcement in Upper East Tennessee, and quite frankly, throughout the state. Every single person who worked on this case should be commended. I know it wasn't easy, and it had to be heartbreaking throughout. As we struggle to attempt to understand why or even how someone can harm an innocent child, we will never know, because thank God, most of us are not wired that way. But we can certainly try our best to make sure that those responsible for these uncomprehensible acts are held accountable. Today's indictment is the first step in assuring that that happens. Our hearts and prayers go out to the family and friends who love baby Evelyn, along with the many citizens who, like us, 
develop deep-seated love for this sweet little girl. She didn't deserve this. No child does. And that's why we will continue to work to pursue justice in this case. It's the best and most important thing we can do to honor her memory. We now move to the critical role in our system of working with General Stavis's office to engage the courts and provide the proof that so many have worked tireless, tirelessly to collect. We are deeply grateful to this team of professionals for the determined and methodical investigation. In closing, we would like to encourage anyone who suspects that a child is being abused to immediately report it. Child abuse must stop, and we must do all we can in our power to make it stop. You can report it to your local law enforcement agency or call the Tennessee Child Abuse Hotline at 1-877-237-0004. Thank you.